హార్టీ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆల్ నాలెడ్జ్ సీకర్స్ టు మై ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈస్ డాక్టర్ మధుసూదన్ రావు కడప ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ది కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఎ నెట్వర్క్ టు ఏ గివెన్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ హ్యావింగ్ డిఫరెంట్ యాక్టివిటీస్ అండ్ ద డ్యూరేషన్ ఇన్ మంత్స్ టు క్యారీ అవుట్ దీస్ యాక్టివిటీస్ నో ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఈస్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ది టోటల్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ డ్యూరేషన్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ the critical path the purpose of finding the critical path is to identify which activities are critical in the project and the activities which are critical have to be given more priority than the other activities otherwise the duration of the project will increase the total project duration is estimated based on the activities on the critical path so if any activity on critical path is delayed it may lead to the overall delay in the project and there will be other activities which are non critical having the knowledge of the critical and non critical activities it will help the managers in allocating the resources according to the importance or criticality of the activities whenever there is scarcity or shortage of resources since there is slack some of the non critical activities may be delayed or may be postponed without affecting the total project duration so this is how the network analysis will help in not only identifying the critical path as well as the total project duration but also it helps to smoothen or level the resource allocation now let us construct the network for this given set of activities based on the precedence relationship among them here we have three activities 1 2 1 3 1 4 for these three activities the starting node is 1 so from 1 let us take three branchings like this three branches 2 3 and 4 then now 1 2 1 3 1 4 these are the three activities drawn and next we have 2 5 then 3 6 3 7 so here we can take 3 7 and 3 6 because we are getting another activity 4 6 suppose if we take 6 here we have to draw a line like this crossing this 3 7 suppose if we take 6 here and 7 in this node then this will be 3 7 and uh, this will be 3 6 to draw 4 6 we have to draw like this crossing this in order to avoid crossing of the lines we may take like this then 5 to 8 7 to 8 Six nine, eight nine. So this is the network drawn to the given set of activities, and here we have to mention the activity durations on these arrows. now 1 2 it is 2 months 1 3 is also 2 months 1 4 it is 1 month and uh, for activity 2 5 it is 4 months 3 7 is 5 months 3 6 is 8 months 4 6 3 months then 5 8 1 month 6 9 it is 5 months 7 8 is 4 months 
and 8, 9, it is 3 months. So this is how we are labeling the activity durations on the aromas. Here one thing one should remember is that the shape of the network has no significance. The lengths of these lines drawn between nodes also have no significance. Just we are drawing this network to represent the precedence relationship among the activities and also to identify the critical path and the project duration. Now, in order to calculate the total project duration, we have to find out the earliest and the latest start and finish times for different activities. Let us start at first node. The earliest start PE equal to 0. So at clock time 0, if we start this activity, activities, activity or activities, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. Now, for activity 1, 2, the duration is 2 months. So if this activity begins at time 0, so 0 plus 2, it will be 2 here. So while calculating the earliest finish times at any node for a particular activity, this is head event and this is tail event for this particular activity. At head event it is earliest finish, at tail event it is earliest start. So PE equal to 0. Now we have only one path here for from 1 to 2. So the earliest time for this particular node is equal to the earliest start at the tail node or tail end plus the activity duration for the particular activity. So this is 0, T1 is 0 plus Tij that is for activity 1, 2, it is T12 which is 2. So 0 plus 2, 2. This is how the calculations will be made. Next, here we have node 5. Uh, similarly for node 3, it is Te equal to 0 plus 2, 2. For node 4, it is 0 plus 1, 1. Next, coming to the other nodes, set of nodes 5, 6, 7, we can reach node 5 from 2, no other way or no other path. So it is uh, 2 plus 4, 6. And 7, node 7 can be reached from node 3. So 2 plus 5, 7. Whereas for node 6, there are two alternative paths. One is from 1 to 2, then 3 to 6. The other one is 1 to 4, 4 to 6. These are two alternative paths to reach this particular node. But here, while calculating the earliest finish at this node, we will consider the longest path, which means here we have 2 plus 8, 10. If we come along this path, and for the other path, it is 1 plus 3, 4. We have to consider the maximum of these two. So, while calculating the earliest times for these kind of nodes where there are two or three different paths, then we have to take maximum of the earlier ones. So, it is here in this particular problem, T3 plus T36 or T4 plus T46 which is equal to maximum of T3 it is 2 plus 8 
and T4 it is 1 plus 3 so which is maximum of 10 and 4 which is 10 so here we will take 10 2 plus 8 10 okay next coming to this particular node 8 again we have two different paths one is 6 plus 1 7 the other one is 7 plus 4 11 so considering the longer one or the maximum duration among the two here it will be te equal to 7 plus 4 11 for node 9 we have again two paths one is from 8 the other one is from 6 considering the longer one the earliest finish of this particular I mean for to reach this particular node will be 10 plus 5 15 now the total project duration is the earliest finish at the last node which is 15 which means that the total project duration is 15 weeks so total project duration is equal to 15 months since the durations are in months it is 15 months now coming to the critical path now we have to move in uh, backwards from last node to the first node to find out the latest time in which a particular event can be reached or any an activity can be started or finished now te equal to tl for the last event in order to avoid delay in the project duration so te equal to 15 so tl is also 15 now moving backwards here for this particular node it is 15 minus 5 because uh, we have to deduct the duration of this particular activity in order to arrive at the finish of, at this particular node so it is te equal tl equal to 10 for this particular node and coming to this node tl equal to 15 minus 3 it is 12 then coming to the other nodes here 12 minus 4 it is 8 for this particular node and uh, 12 minus 1 it is 11 at this node and then here we have 10 10 minus 8 it is 2 or if we <coughs> come along this path it is 8 minus 5 3 of these two we will consider smaller one so we have to take the minimum of tl for the tl at the head minus the activity duration so when we move from 7 to 3 it is 8 minus 5 when we move from 6 to 3 it is 10 minus 8 among these two this is 3 and this is 2 so minimum is 2 which corresponds to this path 6 to 3 so we will take 2 here and for this particular node tl equal to 10 minus 3 it is 7 now for this particular node 2 it is 11 minus 4 7 and for this particular node 0 tl equal to here we have again three different paths from 2 to 1 or 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 if you consider 4 to 1 it is 7 minus 1 6 if you consider 3 to 1 it is 2 minus 2 0 if you consider 2 to 1 it is 7 minus 2 5 we have to consider the minimum among these three which is equal to 0 so if you observe 
the earliest and the latest times at different nodes you can find out that at some nodes both are one and the same now the activities are the nodes at which these te and tl earliest and latest start or finish times are equal will constitute the critical path that means we have activity 1 to 3 3 to 6 6 to 9 so these are the activities for which there is no slack which means that these activities have to be carried out in time in order to avoid delay in the total project duration now the critical path is 1 3 6 9 so this is how the critical path is identified the earliest and latest time durations for different activities have been calculated in forward and backward moves to identify the earliest and latest times at different nodes and if you observe except these four or three activities all remaining activities are non critical for example, if you take this particular activity 5 to 8 from node 5 to node 8, this particular activity 5 8, the duration is one month. At the earliest, we can start at the end of sixth month and finish it by the end of seventh month. Or at the latest, we can start this at the end of eleventh month and finish by end of twelfth month. So this is how we can now. carry out different activities suppose if there is any shortage of resource maybe manpower or equipment or any other resource which we use in this project we can adjust the resources to the critical activities or we can uh, prolong these activities or postpone these activities in order to avoid any delay in the critical activities so that the project will be completed within the expected duration of time. So this is how the network analysis will help in identifying not only the critical path, the total project duration, but also this information will be helpful for managers to use the resources in an optimal way so that the activities can be finished within the latest time so that the total project duration will not get suffered so thank you very much in some other video i will explain some other concepts in project management thank you